For decades, doctors have introduced pacemakers, shunt systems, and hip implants into their patients' bodies. But one Tehachapi, California woman has had very different kinds of implants inserted into her body. With 52 total implants in her body, Anastasia SYNN holds the record title for the most technological implants in the body, female. Anastasia's implants include the largest magnet ever implanted into a person, as well as a sound-transmitting magnet implanted into the tragus of her ear. About half of Anastasia's implants are microchips, which she programs to give herself heightened senses and abilities, such as opening locks and turning on computers. Anastasia was first drawn to the idea because she liked the novelty of being able to program chips with her phone. My daughter originally asked if she could get a microchip implant to unlock her computer like a gamer girl that she saw online and I said, no, you better let me do it first so I can make sure it's safe, she said. Each of her modifications was surgically performed by a nurse and an underground, do-it-yourself, surgeon. About half of Anastasia's implants were inserted with a thick hypodermic needle and a plunger. The rest of them were inserted with a scalpel and the skin was sewn up afterwards. I put quite a few in myself and I had a friend help me with ones I couldn't do on my own, she said. Once implanted, you must monitor them to make sure that they're not degrading or breaking in any way and if they do they have to come out. In fact, Anastasia says she's had to replace quite a few of her implants throughout the years for this very reason. Anastasia's implants have the ability to make her magnetic. She asserts that her left hand provides her with a sixth sense, enabling her to detect live wires behind walls and determine if a transformer or power box is operational. I can tell you if your microwave is leaking too much radiation. My hand vibrates, she said. The implants also allow me to turn my hand into a speaker. Anastasia's ears also house magnets that function similarly. Using a copper wire, Bluetooth receiver, and implanted magnets in her ears, she can hear internally. Her implants serve multiple purposes, enabling her to perform magic tricks and preserve memories like her cherished hobbies and late husband. When scanned, the chip over my heart will play our wedding, Anastasia revealed. The one in my left wrist dials my daughter's phone, and the one in my right wrist dials my husband's phone. While content with her choice to become a human cyborg, Anastasia encounters challenges due to her implants. An MRI is not feasible for Anastasia, and she faces other obstacles, such as periodic removal and inspection of her implants due to their experimental coatings. The deterioration of these coatings can expose Anastasia to hazardous elements from printed circuit boards, copper wire, and neodymium. If I discover an illness requiring regular MRIs, I'd certainly opt to have all my implants removed, she remarked. It would break my heart because they feel like a part of me now. Hi, how are you? Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. That way you'll help the channel produce more videos like this one. Moving forward, Anastasia would like to add additional implants to her list. She had all of her teeth pulled out in an attempt to improve her smile and was going to make cyborg dentures that she could snap in and out. However, the plan fell apart when her doctor could not fully understand what she wanted. I was left without teeth for six months, causing my lower face shape to change and a subsequent slew of problems, said Anastasia. I've given up on my desire to make cyborg dentures. Anastasia would also like to rebuild her previous leg computer into something that has a near-field communication scanner in it so that she can put NFC tags inside playing cards and run them over her leg to read them with her eyes closed. The computer would scan the card and know it was the queen of hearts, send that information to my phone via Bluetooth which would then send that information to the Bluetooth hair piece that would vibrate the magnets in my ears, she said. However, Anastasia has run into problems with making this dream a reality due to battery power. Lithium batteries are deadly, and she doesn't want them implanted inside of her body. She also says the technological implants can be painful and that some of them hurt for a few months until her body gets used to the pressure.